So the contact 8 update is finally here and Native Instruments have made some changes to the UI and added some devices and features that let users interact with Contact's engine in a bit of a different way. We have a new category of devices called tools and these are basically MIDI effects. We have chords which lets us load sets of chords and play progressions just by hitting single keys on our keyboard. as well as phrases, which feeds melodic MIDI patterns to our instruments. And we also have a new sampler inside Contact, so you can say it's kind of like a sampler inside a sampler. It's called Leap and lets us load our loops and one-shots from machine expansions, which now appear in Contact's browser, by the way. And we also have the new Leap expansions, so you can use these as well or any other samples we have on our computer really and manipulate them in fun and creative ways with performance effects that we control with the black keys on our keyboard. Yes, it looks like Output Arcade and is now the primary way an end user, as opposed to an instrument builder or a sound designer, would use samples in contact. Instead of going into the editor, which is still available, but is slow to use in a production session, while Leap is quick and immediate. And the third edition is Conflux, a new instrument with some really nice sounding waveforms. I had Simon Cross, the CPO of Native Instruments, comment on my previous video where I covered the announcement of Contact 8 and in his words, Conflux isn't just a new instrument, it's NI's first ever hybrid instrument that combines samples and the brand new synth engine inside Contact. Conflux is just the first instrument to take advantage of these new features but it'll enable all contact instrument developers to build hybrid instruments and perhaps even some pure synths inside contact. So there you have it, contact is essentially a synth now. And you can get it as part of Complete 15, which includes 45 brand new products as opposed to Complete 14. And yes, sure, all 45 products are only available in the collector's edition, but as usual, Standard and Ultimate are good enough for most people. And you can check it out from the affiliate link down in the video description. This video is not sponsored, but if you purchase anything through that link, it will help support the channel. And now let's have a quick look at the new features in Contact 8 and make a quick beat to test some of the new sounds out. And here's a quick preview of the beat using sounds only from Contact and mostly sounds from Contact 8. The full beats and the beat making session will be at the end of the video. So one of the changes in Contact's UI is even in the library you can see that instead of just instruments we now have tools, leap, loops, one shots and combined and combined are presets that contain both a tool and an instrument or several instruments. You can easily layer instruments now. So let's check out the chords tool first. We have over 100 chord sets that you can choose from. So for this combined presets which features the chords tool and Conflux and I can play chords with just hitting single notes on my keyboard. And you can layer additional instruments really easily from, from this plus sign here and, he, and up here you can change or add or remove tools. And the chords tool features seven pre-made chords, but you can also record your own by hitting record and playing a chord on your keyboard. You can change the octave, add strum. It will also show you the name of the chord as you play it. You can change this from the settings up here. 
And you can, of course, drag and drop MIDI into your DAW. Basically, everything you would expect from a chord tool. It is highly customizable, but even just using the built-in chord sets, it's absolutely fine. And we also have Strum. Maybe I'll just remove conflicts to showcase it with a piano. There's a lot of diamond. Maybe change the chords to Soul. And we also have the phrases tool, again playing whole phrases just by hitting a single note. And you can change the key, you can, I forgot to mention that you can do this with the chords tool as well. You can rotate the pattern to start from a different part of the musical phrase. You can invert it. So it can be really cool to start off a track if you don't have any musical idea in your brain. Also maybe a good source for sampling, like you can sample these phrases and chop them, maybe. And of course you can use separate MIDI effects in your DAW, but having these integrated in contact makes for a quite a comfortable experience and makes it possible to have these combined presets that contain both a tool and an instrument. So let's have a quick look at Leap now. I'm not gonna do a full tutorial, maybe in another video, because it's gonna get way too long. Let's load up a disco and funk preset. So we have different loops laid out across the white keys. And if we record this in our DAW, We can then play them back and apply performance effects with the black keys. And we have audio editing, settings, pretty much everything you would need for quick sampling. We have the delay and reverb send effects and customizing the perform effects that are, like I said, on the black keys. And any loop can be turned into a one shot to be played chromatically, just hitting this keyboard here. Or if you go through our library and go to one shot, maybe we can load up a one shot from some machine expansion or just expansions as they're called now. They're no longer called machine expansions. So we can just double click on this now and it's automatically loaded into a leap. So every sample you load in contact will be automatically loaded into leap. So like I said, this is the central way to use samples in contact now. Oh, but it's not set to chromatic mode. So we need to hit the piano icon down here and it automatically gets the root note correct. So even just drag and dropping a sample from your browser onto contact would automatically load it into Leap. So when you load up a loop, it is automatically synced up with the tempo of your DAW's project. Oh, and by the way, I think all these basic leap expansions are included with Contact 8. I'm not 100% sure, but this is my guess, but there will probably be more available in the future. That will be a separate purchase. That's just my guess. So every DAW has a simple sampler, like Ableton Live's Simpler. So what would be the advantage of using Leap instead of that? I think it pretty much comes down to the browser, which makes it easier to find your sounds from the native instruments expansions because they're sorted by categories and type. And another thing would be the easy way to manipulate them with the perform effects. Otherwise, for your own samples that are not part of the native instrument libraries, using your DAW's built-in sampler may still be quicker and more convenient. So, Conflux, a wavetable synth with two oscillators. By the way, this is the main 
page with the micros and with the edit page you get access to all the parameters we have the two oscillators with some really nice waveforms by the way a lot of acoustic instruments are included which is very very nice filters lfos envelopes basically everything you need to make a variety of sounds and so again i will cover it in more detail in a separate video and i'm also sure there are gonna be a lot of videos showcasing the presets but for this one i just wanted to make a beat and just make some simple sounds from scratch using conflux because this is the ultimate test if the simple sounds are really really good then this means that the synth is really solid and it's not just masking weak oscillators and filters with a lot of effects as a lot of synths do so as much as i wanted to try these drum loops from leap i didn't really find what i was looking for so i recorded my own pattern using rudiments Use some chords from the Disco and Funk Leap expansion. And then onto a very simple saw wave bass that I made with Conflux. So these wavetable oscillators sound really clean. I think they are multi-sampled and I wanted to try some of these acoustic sounds. So I made this vocal instrument. Not to mention the nice strings that we have, especially if you are into old school rompler sounds, I think you will like these. We even have flutes like a shakuhachi on the waveforms, really nice sounding. But I end up just using these nice strings. And then I used some of the built-in leap presets for some soulful vocals. Added some percussion loops from some of the machine expansion that I have again using Leap. And again, a super simple thin lead that I made with Conflux. So here's the whole beat using sounds only from Contact and mostly new sounds from Contact 8. Overall, I think the update is quite refreshing and should make users more involved with using contact creatively. 
rather than just using it as a ROM floor, just loading up presets and playing. The old edit interface is still here for sound designers and instrument builders and people who want to get under the hood, so to speak, but it's no longer the default way to get creative with your own samples. So what do you think of the new Contact 8? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you are new here, and I will catch you in the next one.